As probably most of you know, I am working on a new short film that is gonna be released, I think, around either summer or winter time, depending on festivals. I asked you on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram whether you'd be interested in actually seeing a video about the making of a short film, the behind the scene of what happened uh, on set and how things work on a low budget, self-funded short film. And most of you were really interested because they like the industry and they just think it's very interesting to see from an original point of view. So this is what I did. We did a bit of filming, we did a bit of talking. It's just been such a nice experience. This is how we made my next short film. Well, I have to admit it's been a very interesting experience and I was lucky enough to have some of the best people working on this project and everyone worked so hard. I literally, I don't even know how to thank them. Acting in nature. <laughs> Will was my producer and he's gone above and beyond to make sure that the shoot was well fed and everyone was happy and that if we needed something it was done. It has been pretty incredible. Amir was my director of photography and he did such an amazing job. I literally have no idea how he can make lighting look so good in every shot. Let me see, can you frame up? It works like this. I wouldn't be allowed to touch any of the camera equipment, so when they had to clear the sticks, I would do it without letting them see me. But apparently, I've been caught on camera. I haven't touched it. You have no proof. I have video evidence. <laughs> this would be the job that I would normally do on set, just because a lot of you have been asking. Anna was gaffer for a day, Max was gaffer for another day, which means they were in charge of lighting, and we had Sparks, who were the ones that are under the gaffer. Then we had a first assistant camera, Lucas, who was in charge of well, the camera and making sure that everything was in focus. And the second assistant camera, which we had as Andre and Max. Lizzie was our production designer. See, she was pretty incredible considering the low budget that we had. She was in charge of all of the set dressing and she literally was about to build an Ikea desk just for a scene. Will was in charge of sound instead and he's my babe. He's my favorite person in the whole world. Well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but we work together on Paper Kids as well and I always get him as a sound person. He's really good and I can't wait to see his sound design. Rachel was a makeup artist. She's insanely good. She did such a good job with everyone's faces and she can do any type of makeup. I worked with her before and I was so happy to be able to have her again on this project. At the pub, it was the most interesting thing and oh, look at me directing. Yeah, well, we kind of also realized that my directing is mainly made of making faces and moving my hands around, waving them around a lot. So whenever I say I'm not very Italian and I don't do that much um, hand gestures, I'm lying because I do it a lot apparently when I'm directing. Also, why am I so miserable here? On the first day, we tried to make baked potatoes for lunch, but they didn't cook. So we eventually ended up ordering pizza, while the second day, pasta was a success. What can you not get on an Italian set if not pizza and pasta? Oh my god, this is so stereotypical. Pete, Jamie and Freya have been incredible. Absolutely incredible. So fun to direct. So interesting in the way they worked with the character. They took direction extremely well. There were some emotional scenes and there were some difficult ones to perform, but all of them have just been magical. I will leave you now with a few clips of the BTS and I hope that you enjoy them, I guess. Two, take one. Lock it. Waiting on sound. Will? Oh, hey. The fuck? I'm glad I had that on video. You're a bit red. You're so red. Shot, really? You're beautiful over there. It's like the biggest VR headset in the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just looking at the framing. Oh. <laughs> There's a bush to your right. Find the producer right now. I mean, you're in charge of, of thinking of toilets. So. Do -do -do -do. Leave the shot. Go away. Go away. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, Ellie's doing absolutely nothing. Nothing. Um, I can't feel my feet. Oh, Vinny, you, you, know, you, you know, sly dog. Like, <laughs> 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 
Oh, look, yeah. people are like, actually going to die like, 2.3. That might be impossible to focus on it. It literally will be that much room. Yeah, okay. You yeah, having a good time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can move. Yeah. Now, wherever you move to, I will be there. Hello. It's been such a good experience. I spent most of the previous days uh, not sleeping, having nightmares, and stressing out about the fact that I needed to plan everything and had been so busy that I basically left it last minute. But I was left with the best crew in the world, as you've seen. Everyone put so much effort, and honestly, I don't know how I would have done it without them. The film is gonna be out soon, well, relatively soon, in a few months. It's just been an interesting video to show you, like, how it actually works and what we've been doing and and just in general how what the atmosphere was and what we were actually up to during these few days. Let me know if you found it interesting, let me know if you have any questions, let me know your thoughts about it because it's just, you know how much I love making short film and how much I stress about it and how much I eventually, I mean even this time I just, I mean even this time I could not stop thinking about the fact that I love this, this is what I love, this is what I hope to be doing for the rest of my life. I just hope that you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did the thing, the film. But yeah, I will probably see you in my next video because I'm leaving for LA in a couple of days and I can't wait to vlog the experience because I haven't been in America for quite a long time. And especially I have never been to the West Coast. So that's gonna be interesting. I will bring you with me if I can. So yeah, I will see you in my next video and booyah!